Many bitmap enhancements have been made to the Easy Touch Enhanced panels. We're going to show the highlights of these enhancements. When creating a static bitmap, you have four options to choose the source of your bitmap. Import bitmap allows you to select a file saved on your computer. Copy from clipboard allows you to use a picture that was stored on your computer's clipboard. For example, if you need to use your company's logo, you can simply go to your website, right click on the logo and select copy image. This places the file on your clipboard for you to use. The symbol factory is a large group of about 4,000 images to help in creating your project and the edit image option allows you to either create images from scratch or edit an existing image you have already selected. When importing bitmaps, we have added more support for standard file formats. This now includes bitmaps, Windows Metafiles or WMFs, Enhanced Metafiles or EMFs, GIFs and JPEGs which are standard formats for the web, and ICOs or icons. For demonstration purposes, we will use a bitmap from our symbol factory. When using the symbol factory, first browse through the categories to select the type of pictures you are searching for. We'll select a flow transmitter and click copy to copy to the clipboard. Then we'll close the symbol factory. Now we'll copy the bitmap from the clipboard into the static bitmap dialog box so it is ready to use. Like any object, double click the bitmap to open its dialog box and choose edit image to alter its appearance. The edit image dialog box acts much like Microsoft's paint program where we have options to fill in shapes, draw with pencils or spray cans, and more. Another useful part of being able to edit an image is to utilize transparency. We'll change the background color to red to better illustrate this point. The transparent color selected will be used to make all areas of that color invisible or transparent. Since we have no green in our picture, I will select green as my fill color and the same green as my transparent color. This way, each area I paint green will become transparent. Another great feature within the Edit Image dialog box is the Zoom tool. Making edits in tight spots is no longer a problem. And for pixel per pixel level detail, there is a zoom level 4. As you can see, all the areas we filled in green, our transparent color, are now invisible. This concludes the bitmap enhancements demonstration.